guys, a real quick, easy video today. Uh, what I have here are four elk sausage. I have never cooked or eaten elk sausage before. I've eaten elk, but never in a sausage form. And I've decided to prepare these using the same techniques that they would in Wisconsin with a brat. Um, so get these out to the grill and get going. And folks in Wisconsin, please give me a little leeway here. I, I don't live there, but I definitely respect what you guys can do with a bratwurst. Anyway, let's hit the grill. All right, so first things first, what I'm gonna do is take a uh, cast iron skillet here. Got some butter here, gonna get that butter melted. All right, so my butter's all nice and melted now and uh, gonna grill up some onions. All right, so the onions are now nice and translucent, starting to get a little caramelized here. Push these off to the side. Put a disposable bread pan right here. Throw some of the onions in there. All right. Now, here where I live, microbrews are really, really big. And I have a Sierra Nevada Summerfest, and it's basically a, it's a Pilsner style lager. It's got really, really bright, hoppy flavors. It's a, it's a pretty bold beer. I thought this would be just perfect to do brats in. And you know what? I am going to. Oh, they're just not. That's perfect. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is just uh, bring this up to heat to where just the steam's just starting to come off the top. I don't want this to boil. Um, I'm going to poach these guys. So as soon as the heat comes up, I'm going to pull them off the, the direct heat here and uh, we're gonna poach these these sausage. So I'm, what I'm doing is again, just waiting for the steam to start rising a little bit. All right, so we have a low simmer going on here now, uh, meaning that, you know, I have steam coming up off the beer, but it's not rolling. There's, you know, it's not boiling on me. And that's what I'm looking for. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just get it off this direct heat. I'm gonna put the lid on and uh, we're gonna let this poach for about 20 minutes and then we'll uh, get to grilling these guys. Um, just so you know too, I added some more beer. I wanted to cover these uh, sausage with beer and the 12 ounces, the one bottle alone didn't do it. So I added about a half uh, bottle more. Um, so anyway, get the lid on, have myself a Sierra Nevada and uh, after 20 minutes, we'll get to grilling these guys. All right, guys, so um, they've been poaching for 20 minutes. Now we're ready to get these things on the grill. <clears throat> I've got more onions uh, that I grilled inside the house there. So this fluid here, we're just gonna discard. Now what I'm, my goal is to grill these things without breaking the skin. So I'm not going to use like real like searing heat. <clears throat> I'm going to keep these things rotating a lot. Let's see if I can get this thing turned. I'm going to keep these things turning pretty frequently here.
what I want to do is just get the skin, you know, nice and browned. Really smell good. So again, tongs on brats or sausage. You don't want to, I mean, most of the good flavor that you want is packed in those juices. And I, I want to release those juices when I bite into it, not, you know, I don't want to waste it on the grill here. Alright, these, uh, these sausage have the color I'm looking for. There's nice brown color. And I can see the juices boiling underneath the casing. And I haven't broke the casing yet, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. So we'll get these things off and uh, get these guys garnished up here. Alright, I'll meet you in the house. Alright. And I tried to go as authentic as I could with these. I actually convinced a German restaurant here in San Diego, we'll get throw out their name, the Kaiserhof, to give me these rolls here. Um, so these are German, you know, Bavarian style rolls. And some sweet hot mustard, which is what I like. And then some nice grilled onions on here. And there we are. Thanks for watching.